on Fox 31's Kagan Harsha has been trying to get answers, and in the process, he stumbled upon a Colorado company on a mission to create better body armor for officers. And new at 5:30, he joins us live from Loveland tonight with a closer look. Kagan. Yeah, guys, we're in Loveland tonight because this is one of just a couple of law enforcement agencies in Colorado now providing this life-saving gear to its officers. This is a rifle uh, vest that goes into an officer's, a, a light, rifle plate that goes into an officer's vest. We watched this one being tested today. You can see those three rounds that were fired right here. If you look at these plates, you can see that none of the bullets penetrated either plate. This is the sound of lives being saved. Three impacts. Very close together. You just never know when the threat's going to escalate. So this is a universal receiver. Angel Armor in Fort Collins is yep. testing rifle-resistant plates that slide into Correct. body armor worn by police. The plates are also manufactured here, an additional layer of protection that until just recently didn't exist. I think most officers don't know what they were issued. Um, I never did. I just, there, here's your body armor, take it. Um, I wasn't really concerned about the level. I figured they were providing something that would protect me. Brian Brown would know. He's been a patrol officer for the past 11 years. Many police agencies do provide patrol officers with bullet resistant vests. The problem is most will only stop rounds from handguns, not from rifles. It's bullet resistant. It's not a bulletproof vest. It's bullet resistant. And, uh, and even then, it's specific rounds. That it's resistant and tested to. Larger rifle resistant vests are 20 to 40 pounds heavier and they're typically only worn by specialized units like SWAT teams. And the These plates are the protection. solution to the problem. See, it so it's gear solid. Brian believes in, so much so tomorrow he'll walk away from his career in law enforcement. Um, I can tell you that my wife is, uh, she's not disappointed that I'm leaving right now. To begin a new career, as a sales rep for Angel Armor. I, I'm still serving my brothers and sisters that are out there serving on the street and protecting them in something that I know, that I've seen, that works. Now, a plate like this typically costs about $200, and in most cases, officers actually have to purchase these themselves. There's only a handful of agencies in Colorado, as we mentioned, uh, Loveland, Fort Collins, that provide these to all of their officers. But nationally, we are seeing more law enforcement agencies use these. Dallas PD is probably the biggest one currently using these plates on an everyday basis.